you can let go of your hands and you're just whizzing down the zip line yeah. and it feels like you're flying. We went kayaking, quad biking, canoeing, raft building. Oh, After this we're going on to high road football. And air rubble. It's really cool. Fencing, it's great fun. Cool. <laughs> From, from start to finish, I think the security and, and safety is a, is a real big bonus. We came here two years ago and we've been here before that. So we've always been satisfied with the service and the quality of instruction, that we know the children are safe. The incredible amount of staff to people, you know, the low ratio. So there's adults just everywhere. Come in! Hey guys, you all ready for bed? The most important thing for the children is to know that at night time, not only have they got us sleeping adjacent to them, they've also got night guards that are walking around looking after them. The safety couldn't be any tighter. Everything's chest harness, waist harness, and everything's checked, double checked, and checked again. All of our instructors and all of our staff are highly trained and hold national governing body qualifications to deliver specific activities and all of the staff are first aid trained, so every time there's a kid around, there's always someone there who can deal with any instance. I think the safety equipment they've got is fantastic. They always do the safety checks beforehand. They go through the safety checks with the kids, and even do that in a fun way as well, because obviously safety checks can be boring. First thing that's talked about is a safety talk, and then after that there's a demonstration and any questions, and there's a lovely rapport between the instructors and the students. So yeah, the safety's been first class. I go on quite a few trips and I think PGL you can always just depend on, on the staff to be totally dedicated. I'll tell them about kids in the past who've been scared and they've still done it and it just gives them that little bit more confidence. Because if you're scared they help you, encourage you. Yeah, they're, they're really nice, nice yeah. and they'll you can always play help games you. And, stuff. and like, they'll really help and they'll help you if you just ask for whatever. Ah, yeah, all good, all good. The food is excellent. I complimented your chefs yesterday. They're wonderful. You can have salad or a hot meal, and there's always different choices. We have um, had a child actually that's got an allergy within our group, and it has been dealt with through the kitchen staff. Um, not a problem at all, but they haven't been singled out either. Once they're here, we try and identify that particular child without obviously embarrassing them, making them feel awkward with the group leaders, maybe possibly introduce them or the party leaders to the chef. We have children who are of the Jewish faith, Hindu, Muslim, and these children, have, their food has been accommodated brilliantly. You see the, the pupils change, their, their eating habits throughout the week, because eventually they realise they need the food to do the activities. So they start drinking water instead of pop, and they start eating the vegetables, and the, the child that comes at the start of the adventure is not the child that leaves. It's great that the pupils are looked after by the PGL staff in the evenings. They've always got something to do non-stop throughout the day. We do campfire and you sing songs. And we do 55th lady challenges. The more informal activities, which is great, so the kids can just join in a bit, have some fun, but there's nothing too serious. The children change on this visit. The children mix with all the children that they haven't mixed with before. We see them bonding and, and encouraging each other and praising each other. We see them learning new skills, uh, gaining confidence in different activities. And it's just, it's really good to see and encouraging to see as a teacher. It's been like one of the best oh, weeks ever. It was yeah. fantastic. Awesome. You get scared. So like if you're afraid of heights, if you do climbing, you'll probably get over your fear. It gives us character as well, because it helps us to not depend on our parents to do everything for you. When you look at the things, it is dead scary, but then once you're up there, it's just really fun, and you do things that you've never done before. It's actually the kids that are working together to um, develop their own skills, and I think that actually benefits them a lot more than sometimes just sitting in the classroom. And it's just seeing them challenging themselves. And the achievement on their faces is great. It is for a lot of them an experience of a lifetime. Hey, I can do anything. 